Oh. I hope they can hear me from here. You think I should sit up? Uh. Uh. I, I could cover the back and it's just black. No, I just want to make sure that people can hear me. I don't know. Oh, honey, I don't know. Oh, uh, let me sit up. Ow. First of all, I'm going to be very low energy. Um, I think that stomach bug me and Jason has been passing around each other has come back. Mm -hmm. Same here. Last night, I was up all night. Not able to sleep because of heartburn. Had a little bit of pasta, maybe maybe 10, 20 little pieces of penne regate with just the bare minimum of red sauce. But my body can't do it. My body's like, nope, you cannot eat that red sauce. You're going to throw up. And it's so bad because that's like the only food we have in the house is pasta. Pasta that's and the red sauce is all that's left, yeah. And all it does is make us sick. Yeah, we have to literally go on old people diet, ice cream and yogurt. And crackers. And crackers. Bread. Yeah. We have Eating to... like a baby. And old people. Yeah. But that's not the point I'm coming here, folks. God, you know, when, when I am weak, he is strong. So, he'll come out of my mouth and he'll speak for me when I I feel extremely weak. I think I only had maybe two hours asleep. But praise God, in two days I'm going to the doctor. Maybe he could put me on some like Prevacid or something like that for heartburn. Yeah. Because I, I, I really think I have some, like, serious, like, a hole in my stomach. I See here. It's from all the nerves, man. Oh, God, yes. For all the nerves. All the, all the harassment we've taken and heartache we've taken. Just pummeled. It's like, just in one year, I lost my house. I lost my parents. I lost my kids and I lost my functioning of my body. Just one year, everything gone. And that will change your human spirit. Trust me. You will become a lamenting, sorrowful person who just wants just little hands of kindness just to just flourish but unfortunately like the book of Job there's not many people that are sensitive enough to know like when you're suffering and I am suffering really bad but it's not my fault my body's failing But I know I have the Lord. I know I have God on my side. Because he is my comforter. He is my rock. He is my stronghold. He is who I go to when I'm desperate. And then I see all these people in the world and they, they just, their focus 
And their priority is never God first. Like, you look at the MAGA people, right? Their focus is on Trump. But yet they claim they love Jesus, but it's like, where are your words for Jesus? Where are you preaching to every living creature that Jesus Christ is Lord, died, rose in three days, and came back? And now he's in, in heaven making us mansions. Where are those Christians that once were? They're all focused on Trump. They're all focused on what he can do for them instead of looking what God can do for you. How about what can you do for God? There's a um, song by Tree 63. Look what you've done for me. Look what you've done for me. Jesus, my love, what can I do for you? What can I do for you, my Lord? I want you to know my heart is yours. It's not a question of what you can do for me, but what can I do for you, my Lord, my Lord, hallelujah. That song. What have you done for God lately? He's pretty... He's pretty easy with his words. He makes it simple and pure. And his words are, whatever you do to the least of these, you do unto me. The least of these, those are criminals. Those are widows. Those are people who are downtrodden. Those are orphans. those people if you take care of those people and love them and cherish them god will bless you amon blessings now my gifts may not be here on this earth but they certainly are in heaven You know, everyone's focused on politics. It's like, can we just focus on Christ? I don't know when the last time I saw a YouTube video of seeing a Christian actually speak about Christ. They don't do it anymore. They're focused on man, mammon. And that's what they want. They want Trump because he'll make them money. Not because they actually like to like him or his character, because his character is a nasty person. But you'll give excuses for that person. And then you'll condemn others who do the same thing. The Bible says a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Which means right now we have a problem in the church because the church is talking about nothing but Trump. Where's Jesus? Where's Jesus coming out of your mouth? Where's you looking at the actual Messiah, not your fake Trump Messiah? He is a fake Christ. But the Messiah, Jesus, Yeshua, Hamashiach. Where is he coming out of your mouth and coming out of your deeds? Where is he? Why aren't you connected with Christ like you used to be? Why aren't you reading the Bible like you used to be? Why aren't you helping others as Christ 
helped you. Everyone's gone astray. The church has fallen. And everyone is worshiping mammon while ignoring the creator of the whole universe who's responsible for every living thing you ignore. You ignore your creator for a man who gives you just a wish of getting a little bit of fucking dough. Nah, man. Nah. I believe in the words of the Bible and I believe when God says, if you focus on me in all your ways, you will be provided for. I believe that wholeheartedly. Because right now, me and Jason, we're not, we're not eating well. We're getting sick because of it. Yeah, we had a person that blessed us greatly with with some food, but it's it, it doesn't last forever, guys. You know that. <clears throat> no. It don't last forever. No, and you wish it would. Yeah. <laughs> Can we please have some heavenly manna, Lord? Yeah. Wells and manna. Uh -huh. The land of milk and honey. Israel. S significant meanings behind that milk. It's comforting. It comes from your mother. It gives you love. Honey, it adds sweetness to life. Mm hmm and gives you a little dose of euphoria. The land of happiness. I don't know if we can have it on this earth, but um, I wish we would. All I know is Jesus Christ is coming sooner than ever at a faster rate than we've ever conceived and what are you going to do and this is a serious question that everyone should ask themselves what are you going to do when you're standing before the Lord and you didn't help that person that needed help you didn't love that person that needed love Instead, you tore people down. What do you, what do you, what, are, how are you going to explain this to God on why you did it? I did it because I was selfish. Would you be honest? You know, I, I did it because I just wanted to laugh at them. I don't know what your excuses are going to be on Judgment Day. But tell you the truth, I'd rather not do anything that makes the Lord mad and go to Judgment Day innocent. That's why you have to repent and turn from your ways. That's why you judge people with righteous judgments and not by appearances. I don't know. But the Bible does say if you see something coming to your fellow man and you do not warn them, their blood will be on your hands. But if you warn them and they continue doing what they do, their blood is on their own hands. 
We are commanded by God to warn people. We are commanded of God to preach the gospel. We are commanded by God to love others as ourselves. We're commanded to do that. Now, so many people, they look at those commandments and they're like, eh, they're out of dated. Jesus would never be able to survive a world like this. <laughs> I just wish more people would love Christ. Because he's done everything for you. You're living, breathing today because of him. Our atoms are held together because of him. Now, many people will be like, that's grave gravity. Yeah, but it's still an unseen force. You can't see God, but you can, you can measure his force. You'll get that eventually, I guess. Um, but, you know, I don't... I don't know how much longer I have on this world, but I do have Christ in this world, and he's really all that matters to me. All I want to do is just stand in his presence and, and just be rid of this earth. Because it's so evil and it it makes the innocent not innocent it tears their soul out the innocent you know many people want to be mean they want to be cruel without even thinking beforehand okay I'm being mean I'm being cruel what am I doing to this person I'm being mean and cruel to you never think about that when you're being mean and cruel, do you? But me, I'm just a poor old soul that's been preaching way too long to deaf ears. Way too long to deaf ears. And I just wish and I pray that it'll, it'll just click one day. It'll just be like, wow, what Shannon was saying makes sense. To treat others as well as you. To love others as yourself. To love God. To be respectful. To be honest. To be true. To be noble. Maybe it'll click in your head someday. Maybe you'll realize after chasing after this man, a.k.a. Trump, maybe you'll realize he doesn't give a shit about you. He doesn't care about you. I mean, why aren't you following the Bible, Christians? When it says, trust no, let every man be a liar, but let God be true. Every man. But yet you're following a man who's greedy, who's selfish, who's a womanizer. Who likes to grab women without their permission out of his mouth. There's no godliness to that. You know, if you, if you read the Bible and looked at the ones where there was rape, you'd know that God tears the living soul out of those who rape. 
And not only those who rape, but those who support the rapists. God help you. God help you. I don't know if he'll listen to you while you're following a man who worships money and act like he's the Messiah. God help you. You know, you hope you better hope God has mercy for you because you're following after a man who has no mercy in his soul. And you're going to have to be held accountable for that. And I'm disappointed in the Christians in this world right now because they rather follow a man than Jesus. I, I choose to follow Jesus. You want to join me? I'll give you my hand. We could walk this race together. You know, because this life is, is like the story of the tortoise and the hare. You know, the hare is doing nothing but cheating, trying to get over that finish line. But the tortoise, he was slow, straight and narrow, ended up at his goal, and he won that race. The hare lost the race because he wanted to cheat Because the hare was selfish and greedy and was willing to fuck over its fellow neighbor to win a race. You want to be the hare or do you want to be a tortoise? Me, I'm that tortoise because I want to win that race. But not because I, not to be a winner, but more to a I want to, I want that prize that's behind that line, which is Jesus Christ. I don't know. Hopefully this message will wake someone up and make them realize that they need Jesus Christ and they need to stop following men. Let every man be a liar, but God be true. Are you fulfilling that part of the scripture? Or are you destroying it? I don't know. But all I know is Christ is the way. Anyway, hopefully you understand what I had to say. I feel very weak. Prayers would be nice. You have anything else you have to say? No, I just echo what you said. And the reason the churches aren't talking about Jesus now is because they have said themselves, the leadership, that Jesus Christ was too liberal and his teachings were too liberal for this time. So they have literally rejected the teachings of the Messiah for a man. That's it. Peace of Maranatha.